Very nice to see you all and welcome from our side as well. <clears throat> um, uh, good morning and good afternoon. So just a very short uh, introduction to the Solutions Plus project. Uh, thanks a lot for, <clears throat> for the organization of this uh, workshop. I hope you see the full screen now. Um, uh, uh, um, so this takes us uh, to a deeper dive into some of the issues that we have started dealing with in the Solutions Plus project. And um, that's part of um, uh, a bigger platform uh, that is supported by the European Union. Uh, as Hien said, um, it's quite a big family of partners, uh, 48 partners uh, we are um, coming from industry, from uh, uh, associations, uh, international organizations, academia, and we work on innovative e-mobility solutions where we focus particularly on the uh, development of vehicles. So that focuses primarily on electric two and three wheelers, the conversion of buses, uh, bus new development uh, uh, concepts, shared fleets, um, uh, and then of course the uh, operations uh, focused a lot on the uh, charging solutions, but also on mobility as a service applications. And the key element of all of this work is to integrate that into a wider sustainable urban mobility transition pathway. All of that is being tested in 10 living labs uh, at the moment and then uh, additional living labs will join in later. Um, uh, we're very proud that Hanoi is one of our uh, living lab partner cities and we're very pleased to work. My presentation is faster than I am. Um, uh, work with you and with a team uh, on the e-mobility solutions that have then also the potential to transfer to other partner uh, countries and regions in the world. Um, our key objective is to provide um, uh, a range of tools, a range of methods, guides on different innovative e-mobility solutions and tools to implement those and uh, share experiences, uh, facilitate exchange among city officials, operators, entrepreneurs on some specific technologies, but also on uh, policy processes, implementation processes, funding, financing. Um, and all of that is uh, meant to uh, go into uh, partnerships um, that take those solutions further, also beyond the project's lifetime, building on the demonstration projects that we're implementing in that project, where we test the feasibility assess the costs and the benefits uh, of the solutions, the technical viability, the acceptance of users, and where we facilitate dialogue and then build a case for, for a more scale, scaled up project that has a, a wider impact on sustainable development within the city and uh, climate change globally. All of that is uh, being fed into uh, the toolbox where we then share a training uh, material knowledge product on the different types of uh, vehicles, operations, integrations, the different user perspectives, addressing different challenges and sharing um, learnings from our demonstration projects. That feeds into our capacity building and peer-to-peer -peer exchange um, where we use different tools such as uh, this one to, um, to share our knowledge, to do a deeper dive in, in, in the discussion and in the further co-development of uh, e-mobility solutions. And a core element of the whole program is the startup incubator, where we facilitate the dialogue and the exchange and the co-development process between partner cities and private sector actors to make sure that innovative e-mobility solutions fit into the wider context of the societal perspective of uh, urban mobility transition and fit into public sector uh, 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 mobility solutions and they are complementary. Um, and uh, with that, I wish you uh, success and uh, great exchange 
over the next few days uh, during the training and back to you, Jens.